Hello everyone, my name is Zishan and uh, today I'll show you the power of DVT components in Oracle ADF. So the, there is one way to utilize them within the ADF table. Usually with the DVT components we think that we, we should use as a separate uh, components uh, on the page like showing graph or charts but we can use inside ADF tables to uh, give uh, utilize them in a better different way as well so I have just prepared a, a simple example for that like uh, this is a inputs range uh, input slider and whatever range you will select whatever value you will select the color of the component will change uh, based on, on the value if the value is higher than this the salary of the employee the component will be red and if it's a equal value the component becomes green and if it's lesser value than the selected value then you will get a yellow circle so for example right now I, I choose 9000 here and you can see this equal value becomes green higher value 17,000 is in red and the 6,000 value is yellow so I will simply explain how to build this uh, first of all in a model project uh, I have a simple department and employees entity which is uh, and uh, in HR module in a view object I have a simple uh, department employees view objects one extra uh, extra view <coughs> object which is I'm using for the input slider values you can see the query here it's just giving us the min and max salary from the employees just to set the minimum and maximum value of this range uh, input slider so inside data model we got three separate department employees and salaries and uh, this is the basic model there's nothing special going here next on the ADF page I drag and drop the employees table and I added a simple column here in the ADF table And inside that column, we have uh, a DVT component. So how to get the DVT component? You will go here and go to the data visualization section. And I drag and drop this gauge. And this gauge has a couple of properties. You can set the threshold value. You can see here this value is a 25 percent and it fills with the yellow color if the value coming in 50s it will be green and if the value is other than these values then it will be in red and uh, you can set the other uh, colorful properties related to the uh, colors and design you can choose from here and the little input uh, number slider what I'm doing I set the maximum value as a uh, bindings for uh, the salary view object this view object I drag and drop to the page and I, I just create a max salary binding here and I I'm using that for the maximum value of this slider and the increments I'm doing in the thousand so this is just to set the maximum salary range for that other thing is the value of this DVT component is coming from the bean and uh, for this I created a simple bean which is uh, providing me the current value of the slider and if it's equal to the 
<coughs> salary then it's returning 50 and if its value is less than then it's return 100 else it's returns 25 so this is a ternary operation operation operator and we are using as in the el expression and the let me show you the bean which is just a page flow scope bean inside and the current value is zero and it's just a garen setter and we have a value change listener on this input slide uh, slider as do action method and uh, what it is doing is just setting the current value whatever value comes from the slider it's going to parse into integer and set this value of the uh, this attribute so that's how all uh, things I'm doing here just for fun you you can have uh, different ideas you can use so basic concept for this uh, tutorial is uh, video is to show you that we can utilize these inside uh, the columns of ADF table as well so hope you like this video and feel free to comment on it and you can always request whatever uh, tutorials you want to see or you want to see on uh, my videos on any topic so thanks for watching goodbye